How do I get monies? Uh, it's not easy. Hey guys, welcome to episode 8 of our Civ 3 uh, battle. I'm broke. Uh, uh, Pugs is broke. Oh, I got another cavalry. This is amazing. Um, I'm getting free gifts here. So Pugs is broke. I have discovered some saltpeter that's close by. I got yet another cavalry. This is just wonderful. I have 27 catapults. Oh, really? Yeah. Yet another cavalry. I gave you my saltpeter. Whoops. Uh, I gave you my saltpeter, so I should not be able to make these units. Unless what happened was they were making them before I gave it to you. And now they're just completing their task. Who? Ah, uh, who? Huh? Yeah. What are you the, talking the, about? The, the <laughs> Wake up. The cities that were making cavalry before I gave up my saltpeter. Uh, Maybe they stole it. But yeah, they stole some off the train that was headed towards you. Well, actually, there's no trains, but I guess, like, caravan. Okay. Not... I see some other cavalries that are going to be coming due here real soon. A caravan of cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Pugs looks like he is... I'm hurting for certain. Hurting for certain, but at least no one's attacking him at the moment. I have too many military units. I can't go, I can't decrease my science funding anyway. Any of this. <laughs> and you have 60-some settlers waiting in the wings for when you eventually do wipe out the Japanese? Yeah. That's amazing. And some I've forgotten about just fortified in the cities. Some place just didn't want to deal with it. Yeah. And I declared peace with the Japanese to not risk the uh, the trade route and, and all. So. So okay. So while we do this, while we pull together these cities with the um. Cavalry. Saltpeter and everything. Cavalry. Cavalry. You got one? No, I get oh. one in three turns. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and pause once again. Well, hello, everyone. We're back. Um, so, we got our cities plunked down here where this saltpeter is. Uh, this uh, Japanese worker is here. I wonder if he's going to build me a road and uh, this Mongolian worker is nicely uh, cutting down some forest for me so we've managed to kind of come around on this side of the Mongols and we are um, sending quite a few cavalry down here I guess the way it works I didn't know this before but if your unit your city is making the unit while you lose the resource to make that unit, it still completes the unit. But the next unit production it makes will be something else. So in my example, my cities completed their cavalries, but now they can only make knights. Oh my gosh. England sent a long bowman and spearman down to me. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, um, England decided to attack pugs unprovoked. I think I might have said I instead of clicking that's it. I think I might have said that's prepare it. <laughs> for one. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> why would you even ask me if you're sure? It's like, bam, yes, I'm sure. And it's like England has to quit war on me. I'm like, eh. <laughs> oopie. So here we go. We're getting a lot of next guys. thing you know. Japan's gonna have an alliance with them. Oh, don't even say it. And I'm beginning to automate some of my settlers. It's becoming a little tedious. 
uh, working with these guys. Uh, down here, or up here, we are busily trying to Why get rid of this Why is everyone so jungle. mad at me? Your, your character even looks mad at me. Oh, I might have clicked the unhappy button. <laughs> I, I don't know if I have or not, but I might have done. I mean, everyone's mad at me, and then there's just Caesar smiling his head off. Yeah, Caesar likes everybody. So we are also really beginning to fill in this upper area. We've been talking about it all um, game, all the previous episodes. You think 30 units would do it? Probably, if they're good units. Pikemen and knights mostly. Yeah, knights would do it. And I am building up a lot of army along this Mongolian border here. And, uh, this is not how I had anticipated the game going. I'm heading for Kyoto. I had envisioned my cities being, um, big Good. on marketplaces, banks, all kinds. I did not know I was going to get caught up in this war. On the positive side, though... You're winning. I'm winning handily. And I have a, no one else to bother me except these Mongols down here. I mean, you're just, I mean, I'm fighting on two fronts, but you're Mr. Oh-ho-ho. -ho, and you, all you have to do is send all your troops to this one front. And I mean, yes, the Mongols yeah. don't, have, don't stand a chance. All they have is their pride. <laughs> they won't even have that by the time I'm done with them. You're just going to go over in and spit on them. And just be all like, yes. you've been humiliated, sucker. So I made a temple down here in these cities. And uh, with the hopes that the culture down here will not, um, you know, suck those cities up. And I'm fortifying a lot of my units so that the turns don't take so long. Because we're all growing old here. No. What is um the Mongols capital? Karakram? Yeah. Something along those lines. So we're just building some roads through here as kind of some arteries to get place, things. Yes, it's actually established an embassy in Mongo City, Karam. Oh my gosh! The Mongols established a city or uh, an embassy no. in your city? No, I did. Oh, you did. You are not gonna like it. They uh, have palace, barracks, granary, temple. Marketplace, library, cathedral, university, coliseum, the pyramids. In that oh, city, wow. they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve what? Hello? Thirteen, fourteen pikemen. Wow. Not good. One long bowman and one settler. Not good. So what you're telling me is this is going to be quite the little war once this thing starts. Well, it's not going to start for a while because I want to take advantage. Oh, good. The Japanese guy is building me a road. Cannons. So hopefully I can't go be... through the jungle. Cannons can't go through the jungle. No, I thought they could. They I knew they wouldn't. A road. I wouldn't know. I knew they wouldn't do a mountain. They can if there's a road. Okay, we we better start making some roads. Okay, let's pause. Well, welcome back. And uh, Puckington has yet again declared war on the Japanese. They're gonna and... die this time. This time they're going down, apparently. And because we have saltpeter, which means we've got cavalry. But unfortunately, I accidentally declared war on the Japanese as well. These two cities here that are giving me my saltpeter, he's got stacks of guys. In fact, he's got a stack of like 10 
on the actual saltpeter square itself. So this is bad. This is very bad. And you're gonna hurry up, right? Yeah, I am. is I was giving Puggington astronomy. I put astronomy in the thing, hit accept, and at the last second I noticed he had thrown in alliance against the Japanese. And so then I declared war on the Japanese. I didn't want to. I had spent time and money and everything getting those two cities over there just to have them destroyed by the Japanese because... Puggington thought it would be clever if I declared war on them before I was ready. <laughs> YouTubers, you'll notice you spent the last two hours watching me develop this army along the Mongolian border, not the Japanese border. So I have no more saltpeter. It's all gone. But I do have a lot of cities making cavalry, so I guess they will complete that task. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah. Oh, you're not sorry. You're but since my trade route has been cut off. <laughs> What's that saying? Trade route has been cut off. Can't you use your old salt, Peter? You're using it. I, I gave it to you. No, but remember, as soon as I declare a war on one of them, the trade route is gone. Oh, well, mate. Well, I don't know. We'll find out. We shall find out. Oh, wait. Let's see. Do I have a dude over here? I do. Let us... See if we can hey, wipe out... I can get com per com permanent. What is that? Get Hold on. Uh, Copernicus's thing, um, it, it makes, I think it makes your shipping go from three squares a turn to four. I think that's what I get it does. in 24 turns, so don't you dare take it. Hmm. So, so I want permanent. Because I got oh, actually, the you. Chapel stole from me. I got the Leonardo da Vinci's workshop. Thank you for reminding me. me. What? Oh, hold on. Where is J.S. Bach? Who's making him? Why is one of my cities making the J.S. Bach? Spock. Oh, no, 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 no. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up, I think. What is the J.S. Bach? It's a wonder that gives you two extra happy people per city. But I wonder if I had to have... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. No, I, I was wrong. Alright. So. I was preparing. So if I get Copernicus's stuff, then I get... It only gave me one extra turn. <laughs> then I get Magellan's Ridiculous. whatnot Voyager. Does that make it go five spaces at a time? No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. All right, all right. You just dance. 
I've not yet come across a great, the great, um, Favaz? No, the great, um, Longbowman army of the Kyotoans. Well, they're all over here by me. That dude had like 20 of those things. Right there. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I no, it's not right. It's not right. I didn't mean I, to I steal am your able only to... source of salt, Peter. But you, sh you should look. I mean, I can make cavalry now. Can you? It make... says I can make it as well. Really? But that might be Maybe it's just for this turn. Yeah, maybe because it's um, I haven't worn out my stores of it already on stuff. So... Man. Copernicus. 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 Actually, what I should do is this. Copernicus. Copernicus. Is any of you thinking of making um, Copernicus's observatory? No, I purposely avoided it so you could have it. I want at least wonder, one wonder this game. I wonder if I'll get one wonder this game. Life's Give it up. Wonders. And we're just going to put some military units up here in this other area here. Here come all the dudes. Here come all the cavalry. Boy, I tell you, I can't wait to get railroad. Uh, I think it's your turn. Let's see, when is railroad? I've got. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what am I? What am I investigating? Banking? Do I want banking? I suppose I do. We are technologically advanced, the guy with the beard is telling me. Alright, well let's put this on pause just for a few more moments. We'll come back for one more segment and then we'll call episode 8 uh, complete. Uh, my game crashed. No way. Oh my gosh. The Mongols just declared war on us. And, uh, did your game crash? No. Okay, good. All right. Oh my gosh, so many one Bowman. They have cavalry. Oh no! Well, you better wipe them out. Japanese have the cavalries. All right. What does no. good against cavalry? Uh, nothing. Tanks. All right, so I luckily am prepared for these dudes. All right, I've got probably a hundred. How do they get cavalry? Do you don't you need iron? Uh, you must not. Oh, you need to, you just need horses and salt, Peter. Gosh dang it. Well, they've got horses here. Let's see. Where are the horses? Yeah, tons of salt, Peter. Where are the horses? I saw one of their cities that had horses. I thought it was the only city that had horses. Where is it? It was very fragile. Well, New Kogashima has horses. Where's that? It's the island with the horse. Oh, okay. Well, maybe he's got him doing that. Or maybe he's trading for him or something. Yeah. Alright. Well, at least I am prepared this time around. You know what? What's that? I had just I'm, bought a settler there too. I'm gonna win. I mean, what's the worst thing that happened? Alright. 
what are um good against <laughs> All right, we took a what, city. What are good against musketmen? Uh, cavalry. Let's see, move. Let's see here. Um. You can no longer make what? Pikemen. So now the best defenses unit I have is musketmen. Oh wow, the Mongols also have uh Mongols also have cavalry. Bad. Oh, that's bad. I'm sorry that I snuck in Alliance versus the Japanese. That's alright. How many Well, I have one less now. He lost to a pikeman. Not as many as you would like? Yeah, I'd like hundreds. I've got a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting pretty well here. So I didn't like You gotta hold on. You got. I got the same problem you've got. The the battles are so loud. I can't hear a word you're saying. This is gonna be a long turn. Well, I think. Uh, when is when are you gonna attack the Japanese? As of now. Oh man. Man, this one pikeman has just taken out two knights. All right. I think what we're gonna do. It's a group of Japanese heading for Rome. They should be stopped on the way, but like, I don't know how far they're gonna get. Do they go for every city on the way? Oops. Um, no, not necessarily.
Well, I think I'm going to call this the end of episode 8. It's going to take forever to get this going. And I'd rather dedicate a whole episode to the battle. So we will catch up with you in episode 9.